are going through JavaScript algorithms and data structures in the basic JavaScript course. And we are on number 10 of 113. We are going to declare read-only variables with the const keyword. So let is not only the new way to declare variables in ES6, we can also declare them using the const keyword. Uh, it has all the awesome features that let has, the added bonus that they're read-only. They're constant, hence const. Um, and cannot be reassigned. So fave pet equals cats, fave pet equal dogs. Uh, it'll display an error because we are reassigning it. You should always name variables you don't want to reassign using the const keyword. This helps keep you from accidentally attempting to reassign them is what it's looking like. So um, this may be important. It's common to, for developers to use uppercase variables um, for immutable values, so in full caps. I personally don't do that, but I guess that's a thing. And camel case for immutable. So if you can change it, camel case, if it's immutable, full caps, which I'm not a fan of. But moving on, I uh, changed the code so that all the variables using let are using let or const. Use let if you want the variable to change, and const if you want it to remain constant. Uh, also re rename the declared the variables declared with const to conform to common practices. So it's going to make us do that. Uh, so we're going to say const let because free code camp. Nowhere here is that going to change. And then we have fact. So we're going to use let and it's is cool. And then we're reassigning fact to is awesome. So now we're console logging it. If we run the code. Ah, see, they want us to change this to all uppercase because it's const, so we know we cannot reassign it. Not a fan of that, but I guess that's common practice for some people. So free code camp is awesome. There's that. Let's check it. We got it. So that's that one completed. Uh, personally, I do not, again, I do not do the all capitalization. I don't know anyone that does, but apparently that's a thing. Uh, I think there's a lot of stuff in this free code camp material that I'll kind of point out that I don't do that, don't know anyone that does, but that's kind of the way they teach it. So moving on.